Good afternoon, everybody. It's Drunk Movie Day time. I'm your host, Thatcher Humblebotch, and I can't wait to have another installment of this beautiful show with you. Thank you for waiting for our show to come back. We're on a little bit of a hiatus because real life sucks, and it takes away all your time sometimes. I don't have kids, I don't have animals, but when you fall into that deep, deep depression of despair and blackness that consumes you. As per usual, I'm always excited for these days because I get to drink, I get to watch terrible movies. Uh, we're not here to talk about me, we're here to talk about my guest, and I'm so happy to have him on here today. He's a very funny gentleman, he's also an actor, he's been in some things that you might have seen, he hosts a very funny show called Talent Time, we'll talk about that later. Let's give it up for Paul Anthony! Yeah! Oh, that was quick. Yeah, 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 time is of the essence. Paul, what you got there in your hands? Uh, someone in my elevator in my building gave me these hangover pills, said I might need them. Oh, cool. What do you think's in them? Kelpie. Yeah. Well, that might not work, but... Oh, God. Ugh. Just like a duck. <laughs> so, Paul, uh -huh. welcome. Oh, thanks. You're very, very, very welcome. Happy to be here. The way people, oh, there, oh. Today's episode is brought to you by Nature's Bounty Organic Pills for Your Life. Take one dry, like Paul Anthony does. Oh. Paul, do you like movies? Um, I do like movies. You've done, you've, you've been in, you've done some movies, I've right? done some movies. You've done some movies. Have you done any movies that you watch later on, we don't have to say any names, or you're mm. just like, ugh. Oh, yeah, most of them. Oh, okay, okay. I did one with Casper Van Dien. Do you know from Star Trek? <laughs> do I know Casper Van Dien? I Dean know what you mean. <laughs> and mm. he threw me through a window like that they didn't switch out for fake glass and it was actually real glass. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Why wasn't anybody on top of that? Because it was like a really low budget. What? A Casper Van Dean movie was low budget? Yeah, can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> Today is a great day because this is the first drunk movie day that we've done where I'm actually excited to see the movie. Oh, wow. Paul Anthony, today we're going to go see The Equalizer 2 starring Denzel Washington. Cool. Which my friend Tristan said it should have been called The Sequelizer. <laughs> have you seen the first Equalizer? No. Oh, boy. You're going to miss out on all the mythos. Oh, yeah? Will you tell me on the way? Yeah, of course. It's okay. pretty deep. He used to be in the military, mm -hmm. and now he avenges people and hurts them and breaks their necks. Oh, okay. That's way better. I was thinking he was like a sound guy, just working the low and high ends. But he was always working the high ends. Yeah. Tons of shots of him, like, taking his headphones off and yeah. then putting them back on. Yeah. Pretty cool. One head off a yeah. one thing. Uh -huh. like what? Uh-huh. Sorry, I had my earphones on. Uh-huh. Nostrovia. Yo, cheers. Mm. Ah, Shall we? Oh man, I'd love to. This is the part where we get up and we pretend like we're leaving. Oh yeah, so let's go. Can we stay here? But we we have to walk out of the frame. Like we have to go right now. It's go time. They're going to war with me. It's go time. Whoever did this, hell off. Australia. Wow, what a day. So we saw The Equalizer 2. Why are your eyes closed? What? Is this the thing you're doing? I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> hey! Oh. Prog, prog placement. Okay, I'm sorry. I like uh, every time Denzel's character is about to attack a bunch of people, mm. it zooms into his eyeball. That was very strange. And it becomes like an attack vision where he can tell what's about to happen. Denzel throughout the movie has several connections to people. I think that's the- Fuck Denzel, can I just say that right now? What the fuck is he doing? Just stop. He's too old to be beating everybody up. He looks good. He's he, in his 60s, he, he looks good. He does look good, I'm not saying that, but just, like, you don't need the money. Just stop it. Do a movie that is interesting to you. So this movie's full of a lot of broken arms. He breaks a lot of arms. Oh my God. It should have called the Broken Arminator. <laughs> he has a woman come into his lift at one point who has been assaulted by a group of Not banker cool. bros. Not so he cool. comes back in their apartment and we immediately see this amazing scene of just the most stereotypical bros ever. It just quick cuts to cocaine, mm. booze, drugs, all this other mm -hmm. stuff. 
the first thing that the guy says when he walks into this like bro scene is, what the fuck, bro? But also anytime somebody wants to fight Denzel, they oh. lock the door behind him. Yeah, yeah. And then they go something along the lines of, you've made a big mistake. You've made a big yeah. mistake. Yeah. Big mistake. Big, huge. It's because he comes into the room full of bros mm -hmm. at the... They're having their party after they've assaulted the woman. Yeah. And there's just like a, a like a like not even like a jack dude, just a normal sized guy that been locks me. the door and goes like, You picked the wrong party, Denzel. Yeah. And then immediately Denzel slits his throat open with a credit card. <laughs> with a credit I forgot. Remember that? With a fucking credit card. And then didn't he do it twice? <laughs> he did it too much. And then he broke a dude's neck full on. <laughs> My absolute favorite part of this entire movie, Paul, mm -hmm. was, and I'm sure you'll agree once you hear what I say, at one point, Denzel Washington's apartment complex gets vandalized. Oh, I like that. And it gets spray painted over by gang, gang. symbols. Yeah, what did it say? It said, gang, gang. gang. Pretty genius. The there gang called is gang a squared. gang called. It's either a gang called Gang Gang or two separate gangs. <laughs> oh, I never thought of that. I yeah. liked it. Gang. No, fuck you. We're a We're gang. We're a gang. Gang. Shh. Oh shit. There's the five O. Let's go. Yeah. Oh like fuck. That. I'm glad we could both agree on that. Yeah, being yeah, Separate yeah. gangs. Hey, you can all like the fuzz. We don't like the fuzz. Hey, maybe we're maybe our gangs aren't so different after all. What if your gang joined our gang? What would, could we call ourselves? Gang, gang, gang. Cause I be ripping gang, 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 gang. Post it with the gang, gang. I've never seen such an out of touch moment in a movie. Maybe it was the director being like, oh my God, nobody has stopped us yet from writing right. gang, gang. It's okay writing just gang, Nobody gang cares yet? Long. Okay. You're cool oh, with that. You're, that's fine. Oh, these 70 year old producer execs from the studio don't mm. care that we're writing gang, gang. That's okay. Okay, cool. What's the plot? I couldn't tell. For the first 35 minutes, it was just vignettes of Denzel helping people out. Then his best friend shows up, talks to him about a crime, and brings him soup. And there's a scene with two old people eating <laughs> soup. It was left over from another movie. It's very strange. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to the thing that I found very weird about this movie. Yeah. At the end of every scene, there was like a, a, a laughter that wasn't uh, warranted. Like there was nothing funny happening, but they wrote a scene and it seemed like they just wrote at the end, actors laugh. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> of cut art. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Infinite Sheldon. <laughs> That makes the scene end. Is like you have like a. Yeah, it's called Narc, Paul. Maybe you've heard of it. Narc. Arc. Oh, uh, oh, an arc. I've heard of an yeah. arc. I know. When you're not busy getting concussions, being thrown through glass by Casper Van Dien. <laughs> Casper, we're putting you on lockdown. Lockdown. That was the <laughs> bars coming across. Oh, dude, you're gonna do that? Do oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Casper, lockdown. <laughs> Oh god, we're stuck in jail now. Oh no. Improv, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and? Oh. Why are you doing that? <laughs> that feels good. Paul, let's talk about the end of the movie. Okay. Which turns into the movie Hurricane Heist, which I'm sure you don't know what it is. No. Okay, well, there's a movie called Hurricane Heist, and it is the best Daniel movie. Daniel Washington in it too? Daniel oh. Washington is not in it. <laughs> and the end of this movie takes place in a hurricane. Uh, heist, I get what you're saying. Yep. Dude, you nailed it. It's Denzel against a bunch of special ops guys, and it goes on for very long. Too long. Although he does shoot a fucking harpoon gun through a guy's face. That was pretty cool. Right? The guy that worked at the uh, the craft beer salon. Because he had a big beard. <laughs> yeah. Because he was tall, had a big beard, and he just, head. And he had no lines. You no, he you didn't know. talk once, did he? No, that guy was like, I acted with dads on Washington. You're like, you didn't say shit to each other. Mastravia. <laughs> okay, so let's wrap this up. What? Okay. okay, so this movie was kind of boring. Yep. 
Every 40 minutes, there was a very quick fight scene. Every kill... I did enjoy Every kill one. was awesome. Like, every yeah. time you killed somebody, was awesome. Yeah, I But agree. it was so far and few between. So, Paul, out of out of 10 my mans, what would you give this movie? <laughs> oh, out of 10? Hmm, maybe a 4. Ooh, my, my man. It was not good, man, at all. But Denzel's so good, and he was no, great in this movie. No, he's not. Why would he choose to do this? Other than money or whatever, why would he be like, oh my god, gotta do this sequel, look at this. You know what's his first sequel ever? What movies has he done that could make a sequel? Like, he doesn't do big movies. Yeah, that's true. Glory would be weird, because yeah. they all die. Malcolm X. Malcolm X would be very weird. <laughs> a sequel for Malcolm X. Paul, you have an Indiegogo. Yeah, yeah. Talent time. Support Talent Time. Give us your motherfucking mm. money. Don't, don't talk to them like that. Okay, sorry. Let's don't do it ever again. talk let's to them like again. that. Let's do it again. No. Hey, Paul, do you have We're a done. thing? This is live. No, 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 no. Say Paul, do you this have a thing? This is live. Oh. Paul, do you have anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've got this really beautiful Indiegogo campaign. If people like feel like moved from their heart to uh, to just contribute. Um, See you next time. Bye. I love you. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Testing. We'll ask a few questions. Learn why you stole those computers and what's in them.